good afternoon everybody hope you are well right today i'll be doing my second video based on paper planes and today we're looking at one paper plane and that one paper plane is the afterburner okay it's a good plane it flies pretty straight pretty far I prefer the Javelin myself. I think the Javelin is a slightly better and more robust plane, but this is nonetheless a very, very good paper plane. So what you want to be doing is your usual, it's your A4 piece of paper. Um, it can be slightly bigger, slightly smaller. Um, however, A4 is probably the best. And you want to be folding it, first of all, from left to right or right to left in half, making sure... You use a flat surface to fold it on and also making sure that your ends match up and you do a nice fold in the middle using your thumb, index or finger. Okay, so I've folded it in half, left to right, right to left, just like that. And then I've opened the, the page up because I want to be doing now folding my top, uh, uh, top part of my page down to my bottom in half. So top part of your page, down to the bottom half of your page. Okay, in half, All right? Making sure the corners match up again. Okay, doing a nice crease like that, and I'll show you. I've unfolded it just like this. Okay, so you should have four segments. You see four segments now. Okay, now, what you wanna be doing, Third fold is folding this bottom part of your uh, page, your A4 piece of paper, to the middle line that you have just created. Okay, just make sure it sits nicely on that middle line. Make sure you do that nice fold again and then unfold it as you can see. I fold it up like that, and then your final fold for this first part of this paper airplane is folding this bottom part again of your piece of paper to this new line that you've just created here. And I'll go over that, making sure it sits on the line. I'll go over these folds again. So I've just done, I just folded it just there. So I've created all these lines. Okay, I've got two lines that are eighths here, a quarter and a half of the page up here. Okay, so I'll do that again. A4 piece of paper, fold it in half, left to right, making sure they match up. Unfold it, fold it in half, top to bottom, making sure they match up. Unfold it. You want to be folding the bottom to the middle. Okay, making sure it sits along the line nicely unfold it and then finally fold it to the last to the bottom line you've just made just here from the bottom to that line there and then you've got the first part of your paper airplane now you want to be doing what we've done in many different paper airplanes so far we want to be taking this corner and folding it into the middle making a straight line there and making a nice triangle and we want to be doing exactly the same here, folding this to the middle and making a straight line up. And both of them should match in the middle, the triangles, and going across your page horizontally. So I'll show you now. Just make sure, again, make sure it matches up. Make sure it hits the middle. And make sure the triangles form a nice straight line across your page. All right, so I've done, taken that corner, folded it down, made this triangle just here, and then done the same, this corner, fold it to the middle line, okay, got them to match up, and it's nice and straight along the bottom. Now, what you want to be doing now is doing the same, but you want to be folding the rest of this into the middle, okay, and it will create... Got it here. So it'll create shape something like this. I'll show you now. So I fold again from the top into the middle. I've created another type of triangle. And then what I've done on the opposite side is done exactly the same and matched it into the middle. So 
I've taken, if I go back to my triangles, my triangles are like this. You see them just here. I've folded this and down the middle, all right, and created this quite long triangle here, and then done the same over this side to create that point at the end. All right, they're my two bigger triangles now. All right, still with my straight edge along the bottom, I turn it round, it looks like this. Okay, now your next step is to actually take this bottom fold here and just fold it up just like this. Okay, just fold it up. And what you want to be doing now is you want to be folding this side over to this side, making sure it matches up. And I'll show you. So, ends up looking like that. So I've taken this side after folding this one up, and I've taken this side, this half, and I fold it over to this half, just like that. And I've made sure I've done my folds, and it's nice and perfect. It matches up. Now I want to be creating the wings. Now I want to be folding this over, each wing over on both sides, this way and this way. And I want to be leaving. I'm going to draw a line going across. Hopefully you can see it. Draw it nice. Dark. I want to be folding it so it comes to about here, about two centimeters up from the bottom of my plane. So I fold it over, I create a straight line. So I had my airplane, that's my line there, and I folded it over just like this. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this side, matching it. To my other side, so I fold it, turn it round, and I fold it. Now obviously, a table really helps you with this to get this line perfect. Okay, so I folded it, so I had it like this. I folded it over, and now I'm creating this. But if I hold the bottom now, I created the part at the bottom that can actually hold. Okay. And I should have this. Now, the last step is to actually create just these two pieces of my plane here. Okay. Just catches the air and gives it a little bit of lift. So, what I want to do, I want to take my paper airplane and I want to fold this about two centimeters across and this this way in a straight line. So, I had my paper airplane and I had um, my flaps out like that. Okay, and I want to just fold it like this, like this. And then I want to just pull it up a little bit to create nice sides to my airplane. And there we go. We have our afterburner. Try it with your javelin. If you've done one, if you've designed it, please send me some photos over to mail, okay, and I'll rate them and see what they're like, you know, give an assessment, and hopefully there'll be some fantastic flyers out there. Okay, keep yourself safe and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.